Thank you for staying with us on Plus TV Africa. This is Tea Time where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye. What up? It's a Malian thing. I don't understand. Is that the new slang? It's a Malian thing. You won't get it. Uh, I won't and try. Yeah. You won't get new it. gist. Ah, Shall I say this gist yes, now? Please, we'll leave it till afternoon. Or tell only a Malian. Okay, so they just said Asha is <laughs> yes, and that's why they're excited. Well, and yeah. I don't know what which Baba did it for Nayamali, but that Baba is strong. That's well, all I have to say. It's not Baba, it's just, it's you what, know. It's just the grace of it's, God. No, no, say grace. it the way she said it. She said she has lost money to... Um, she said even though Yao boys have taken all the money in her account before, mm -hmm. but she's still a Malian and she likes So you see, Amali is associated to Yahoo boys. Uh, because of the Amai Yao boy thing, mm. anyways. And the old Simi Sola thing. Yeah. And they're still in love with him. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about about something, it's I'm just the grace. Shame. You know, mm -hmm. when, when there's grace around you, mm -hmm. you know. Grace of what? The grace. Grace. I mean, grace. Every, there's grace. time for everybody. Which when is your time? Yeah. Your time. Times just grace. grace. Mm. Not a fall from grace. Mm. <laughs> 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 All right, let's start quickly with um, Nigerian singer and songwriter Olawale Oloforo, popularly known as Brimo, has revealed he will be releasing an album in 2020. Responding to a Twitter user who tweeted at him asking, when should we expect a new album? Album. He responded saying, end of March. So Said. I am personally don't tell it, don't tell it. <laughs> I'm personally don't tell excited anybody. about this. Did you guys hear about it? Say don't tell him, did you know? Yes, it's we, supposed to be a we secret. We did hear it, we saw it. You saw it? Mm. Oh, okay. We read I'm it. not saying it. Yeah. It was supposed to be a secret. Okay. Don't mm -hmm. tell anybody. So we can share the post. Yeah, we're sharing so the secret. Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm excited about this. Very, movie. very. And, I mean, Bramo is just one of the, the artists we have that would give you content mm -hmm. and you would reflect while listening. You know, I, I can't wait for this hour. I just hope it's not the one now that match will come because that's, that has been the trend for most of these artists. And then they will tell you it's coming out today and then no, I mean, tomorrow I, I, it's not I coming. think I will just trust Brimo because mm -hmm. he has always, anytime he wants to deliver, delivered. yeah, he will deliver to you. Mm -hmm. I, I, one thing, I just hope you will see this and then, you know, give us something like Arambe that we can, you know, really buy to. I hey. really want another song from Kara I mean, that, like mm -hmm. that song Umbe. was on repeat for like 100 years. <laughs> So now I, I think I want another type of that around mm, there. So okay. let's hope you'll give us something like that. But trust Brimo to give you the best. So I'm waiting. Mm, big shout out to Brimo for this one. We're looking forward to the album. Chop it already. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on to the next story. Young Sis calls out Emaya Baga for not supporting his music career, saying he has lost all respect for the rapper. Young Sis made this known via his Instagram page. Or Okay, no, that should be via his Twitter page. While responding to a radio station that shared a song, he featured M.I. Abaga. He said, the record M.I. refused to support even though he was on it. Chairman did not post or repost or agree to come for video. He did not also post my album, which he was part of. Yes, it's true, idols turn rivals. Mm -hmm. Still like your, your old songs, but I have lost every symptom. Of respect. I like the I fact you emphasize the symptom because I was trying to get it. Like, uh -huh. every symptom of respect. Ah, it's symptom more. Okay, but also what you have mentioned is the fact that Young Sis has collaborated with M.I. Abaga three times in his career. First was on M.I.'s Illegal, Illegal Music 2 project on the record export. Second was in Picking Things, his second single on his debut album, Six O'Clock. And third is on this track that is costing Wahala now, Grammy Money, which is on his second album. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know what this sounds like, but I feel like it's just it's, um, it just has a sense of entitlement. I think no. it's wrong because if you if you've worked, What's you know wrong? why. This calling out, whatever, yeah, me too. however you feel, because you worked with this guy even Three. on your first album. That's which my is point when exactly. You think, oh, maybe people are not going to want to support me. They are not going to want to help you, but he was with you. When you were having your debut said, do you album. know how many artists co um, have a collaboration with other artists and they don't put it up on their page? They just, you know, a lot. Do the, a lot. It's not a new thing, and I don't even think that it is really a big deal until now that it's calling um, M.I. out. I don't think that that's just the case here. He said he refused 
to show up for the video. Okay, okay. Do okay. you understand? Maybe that's... Like, it's, it's deeper. Obviously, you try to reach out to him. Maybe he even sent it to him, like, Baba, share. Mm. You get, and then I'll just, maybe he'll just read, he'll leave his message on read. Mm. Do you understand that kind of thing? So I think this one is, because they have a one-on-one, -on -one really, if, if it's an artist that you paid them to be featured on your track mm -hmm. is different if they can choose to Clearly he didn't promote pay for he didn't pay for this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's they can choose to promote or not to promote you mm. get like because that one that is more like they're doing you a favor but this one is based on where guy guy mm. do you understand so why won't you and that's the, that, that, same as his guy guy anyway. now my if i sorry, going sorry by what you. you know eh, there are times you offend people mm. I, I mean i don't know what is going on here we mm. are all just saying what if and what if not mm. there are times you do things to people and they might not come out to you to say this is what you have done to me or this so is how you have wronged me out. but mm -hmm. they just move away and just stay on their lane and like okay if this is how you are let's just keep it this but way we need to realize that this so is not this the is his person. side of the story we don't know what exactly happened he probably doesn't even know what he has done to mi for mi to feel this way because this is not their first project together that i mean that's that's my way because this is not it's not like you had just one project mm -hmm. or two with him three projects you guys did together and then you're saying that it's not it didn't support your career how else do you want him to yeah, support your yeah. career it's well, not like the, just video, part, the video yeah. part was what made me read between the lines mm -hmm. because if we did a song together and then I'm, I'm about to shoot the video and i'm inviting him for my video and he keep giving me excuses obviously, if he's you know? busy what do you want him to do i mean whiskey and drake had song People would say he gave me an excuse. That's why I said that's how he that's, that, I, I was going to say that's, that's how people happened. would say it. I mean, people would say because oh, the song also features somebody, somebody else. Refused. I think um, uh, I need to get that right now, but I think praise. praise. Yeah. yeah. So somebody else. Like people album. would say, oh, you refuse to do it or you don't want to do it, but they don't know what's going on with you. What if mm. Mi was busy at that point? What if he had a lot to do at that point? I mean, you don't know. I think. I, I'm not really going to say much on this or judge on this because Emma has not said anything, anything. Mm -hmm. and we just have one side of the story and I'm not going to say because everybody has been saying Emma is this, Emma is that, I would just believe anything anybody can. What if it's just jumping on the bad wagon now? Okay, since everybody is now dragging Emma, let me just, you know, use this opportunity. I mean, the radio station something. played your song and it tagged you. Like, this response came from... Yeah, um, it was so I don't know what is going on. Were you waiting for an opportunity to voice all this? the marinades. <laughs> 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 I have a question for you, Faith. Please, what are the symptoms of respect? Respect. <laughs> Just like malaria. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know the symptoms of um, respect, but I know atom of respect. So um, I think he meant to write atom and then he made It was mistaken. probably anger. Mm. And so he was or maybe he was right as well. He has to explain to us what symptoms of anger means. I mean, you, you have... We symptoms have, of anger. I mean, symptoms <laughs> of respect. <laughs> We have we have the right to create words the way we want. Or maybe he just feels like, as in, Simple. even the symptom, like the slightest yeah, feeling the of me having respect mm. for you, is gone. Mm. Do you understand? Like, as in, just that feeling. Mm. It's not even the actual respect. See, I, I knew you were going to. You, yeah. you get it. Just that feeling, like the slightest feeling. Like, I don't know. I just. It's I just... like I'm feeling like I want to be respecting this girl. Mm. You get that's a symptom of respect. Okay. <laughs> I feel this is sweet. It's very somehow, and then it was just. It wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary. If you have a problem with Mi, like you rightly said, it's like they have a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. You can always talk to him about it. If you've not said anything to him, and then you think calling him out is going to what? It's not going to save. But I hope this doesn't blow out of proportion, and I don't want to hear more about this. Please, can he just stop right here? No, he needs to explain symptom of um, <laughs> Okay, that's the only. Yeah. Mi is not going to reply. Yeah, to I, I, I hope to nobody mm -hmm. says anything after now. Let it just sort it out. Die, yeah, yeah. she just died natural okay. death. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all your cake and pastry needs, please visit Race and Posente. They've got wedding cakes, cupcakes, birthday cakes, and even Valentine cakes, and so much more. That's Race and Posente on Instagram. Race and Posente cakes on Instagram. Do check them out. Tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. I still make music 
and people are still by. That was how they look myself minimal eye. Mm. Mm. Apala music is from mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Digital and influencer marketer Pamela Miyadigoki, also popularly now known as Omo Yaologi, is dishing out some advice on things to consider before marriage. He wrote, and I quote, Lack of money ruins marriages faster than lack of love. With money, you can endure loveless marriages. Without money, it is hard to endure even loving marriages. Love is the greatest gift of all, but money answers all things. Make sure you make money before you marry. Over to you guys. If I make money first, mm -hmm. why, why are you saying about to us? You, no, are you I want not to get to your make opinion money, money. first. Don't let me say things I'm not supposed to so, say. So wait, what do you believe? You need to make money before you get married? Yeah, 100%. How about you? You need to make money before you get married. Both part, like not just the So man. can you enjoy a loveless marriage but there's money? A what? A loveless marriage, but there's money. No, like I'm not even going to marry somebody that will not love me or have a loveless marriage. So, nope. Nope, nope. But so, I'm not going to enjoy a poor marriage. Okay, too. okay, okay. Let's put it this <laughs> no, way. Never. Can you marry a guy that you're deeply in love with, but he's upcoming? He's upcoming. He, he has, has potential. <laughs> he has yeah. potential. Mm. Well, if he has potential, that means it then won't what, be a broke we, we can, marriage. We can, so you don't want ready. Day. So it's not. It doesn't necessarily have to be a ready-made. If you why you always having this ready-made yeah. conversation? I've always told you I, I can't be on the table for this whether he was upcoming or ready-made conversation because I am ready-made already. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I cannot understand. I cannot flow. So can and you, for me, okay, I mean, okay, your okay, age, do you know okay, my okay, age? Okay, okay, so my forget, age, me. Let's forget. <laughs> okay, let's forget. Let's forget. Maybe I asked you this question like nine years ago, then we can no, be talking wait, about for potential. Me, I feel like okay, let's forget about potential. Ready -made let's forget relative. about ready, ready made. Okay. Can you get married? It's relative, actually. Yeah, can you relative. get married to a man mm. who still, how do I put it now? It's who doesn't true. love you but has a lot of money? No. Why is he coming to marry me if he doesn't love me? No, no, no. He I wants mean, you know, you know, to have a no, 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 you're just well, if we're having that conversation, then I hope you know that there are so many marriages now that are based on um, so many things aside love. Now, mm. it's not about what she looks like. In fact, what she looks like can even be considered... I think pregnancy is one of those things now. Like, the moment the girl gets pregnant, she you get married. Marry. Mm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's like a trend. Yeah, but there pregnant, are people who consider married. so many things. Say, what is her career path? What does her family mm -hmm. have to offer? What does she have to offer? If we come together, I how think those are people that want to get married for real, for marriage purpose. Not. I don't think we that. understand what Pamela is saying. Pamela okay. is saying that money with the lack of money kills a lot of marriages. So yes. if yeah, you yeah, get, it yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yes. You think so? Be able to be able to at least both anymore. sides, both the man and the woman should be able to get themselves to a place where they are at least comfortable. Okay, so my my own my problem is, is why do people think I remember love comfort is relative with. too. Being rich is relative, being ready made I, is relative. What is rich to me might be poor to somebody else. How about our parents? How about our parents? They endured. If they're not older, they got why rich do while they were like married. Like do you mm -hmm. understand? Why do people feel love has to come with poverty? You no, know, love doesn't have to come You can have somebody poverty. that is very rich and the person Love has will to love come you. with endurance and respecting each other's, what's it called, growth. That's the way I see it. I you need say to, love has to come with commitments and understanding. Not commitment and understanding. But do we endurance. don't need to make money like a sole reason to get married to somebody because that's misleading yeah. a lot. It's not it's saying that's the sole reason, reason but, but it has you to have to. You have to be I mean, comfortable. Have to. Okay, if I so the know, fact that okay, what about so if what about what about in a case? Wait, what about child, in a are case? You take care of your child. Of course. What about in a case where you get married to somebody that was rich, mm -hmm. right? And then 
In the process of the marriage, it loses its job, loses all um, its company, starts going That's down, different. investments are not working out, and it gets suddenly broke. Will you stop loving that person That's because there's no money anymore? There's no more cash different. flow? God That's forbid, different. but that's How different. How is that different? Because you're different. already into it. The person You already know the kind of person you married, and then this is not the point you know that, okay, and for that person with this to person, be I'm able to get to breathe himself to that point means he can always pick himself back, back. up. It becomes your duty uh, to support say, other, to support each other, and get yourself working. back up. If uh, okay now, I, I mean, I used to say this in all the time when people mm. be like, marry a man that is, you know, not there yet, you know, but he has potential. But do you know that isn't everybody that will be rich? But the truth is, I won't get married till I'm rich. rich. It's relative, exactly. What, what, okay, what do you define as being? You just said you won't get married until you're rich, right? What, what is your? So I'm comfortable and I'm able to afford everything I want and need. Everything you want or everything need. you need. Everything I want and need. I and said that's want problem, and need. Because it's, it's okay now. Your current girlfriend, you love her, yeah, mm -hmm. but you want to get comfortable and rich before you mm -hmm. get married to her. That's what Mamila is saying. That that's Thank what everybody. It's very easy. Very that's what Mamila. Is talking because it about. comes to a lot of responsibility, actually when you are going to have mm. children, you cannot bring children to this world to stress them, which is one of the things I advocate about. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Stop I having too many children and say, oh, no, uh, but, God but being poor is no. relative as well. Being what? what? Being poor is relative as well. Yeah, yeah of course, that's what we're saying. Okay, but so all I'm saying well is when you hear case. money in love and relationship, don't always think it's a bad thing or that people mm. want to No, 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 when I saw Pamela's post, I totally agreed, but I just wanted to get your takes on Because even me, I need Money to be alive like Indeed. this. Look at me like look this. At me. Just look at me. Are you not saying it's expensive? It's not easy. So not Moving having on. money <laughs> and being healthy is a bad thing too. Right? It's just the same thing as being I married and not having money. I get what you guys are saying, money. but I just don't think um we should be misleading a lot of girls out uh -uh. there by letting them. Why are you not misleading guys? Huh? Guys are not misled. These girls no, are guys, misled. guys, every guy needs to hustle. You need to know uh -huh. that it's at the end of the day. Rest, no, please. see, and this is a very complicated situation, but at it's the end of the day. It's complicated because you, just, you are looking at it. I'm trying to make it complicated. The fact that I need money to live and survive and live a certain kind of life that I'm living. It's the same way that I need money. And I know that I have to work for it. Where does love come in in all of this? Love. Mm. We like to take love to a restaurant to eat. So love is not important. It in is important. important. Love is important. But it, it cannot solely stand. You know that thing? Love is sweet though. <laughs> but when you yeah, enter, love, love is sweet. sweet. That, that's just it. It's very easy. <laughs> eh? You just on. won the case. <laughs> 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 the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office said on Wednesday that rapper Juice WRLD died from oxycodone and codeine overdose. The medical examiner determined the rapper's manner of death to be an accident. And this is quite sad. But it's like, we already know what happened. Right. <laughs> and it's very sad. I mean, I still pray that God be with his family and friends and mm -hmm. help them move past this. It's just really bad that this drug thing is still... I mean, even with this death... People, people are still on people it. are still on it. People are not ready to give it up, and more people are still coming into the drug abuse world, and mm. it's just terrible. It's I think we need to really make it an everyday conversation on social media, on TV, wherever. Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. Mm. At don't do it out of peer pressure because you think, oh, it's going to make me look Don't cool. do it at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, no, that's why they do it sometimes. My guys are doing it. I can't be the only one not doing it. It's cool. It makes me feel like I'm part of the crew. Like, at the end of the day, you're just going to get addicted because when you start... It's a problem to stop because that is what these drugs are designed to do. So you keep spending your money and before you know it, you're overdosing and killing yourself. So And honestly, because of the way it's already, it's more like a culture now mm. in the music world. I think artists that probably have never been involved in drug abuse or anything that is related to drug and they're successful need to come out and tell their That's story speaking. more. So this young upcoming artist will know that you can actually be successful in this industry without, mm -hmm. without drugs or you can be inspired and you can without get drugs. inspired without drug because to be honest let's take a look at this there's a young boy maybe 16 mm. he has this hit song and everybody's calling him here and there and then it was it's probably his first time he wants to perform in front of a million to people and he's scared somebody in his team you know drug. somebody in his so team like, will just will put a pill in his hand and say you know take it in don't worry you, you feel better and the moment he takes it if he gets that euphoria feeling he's like wow it feels good you know 
at that point, it's not, it can't help it. It will keep coming for more. So I feel if older artists that have been there before, mm -hmm. or even those that have been involved in drug and they've passed it now and, you know, should keep telling these stories and make these young and people realize that. And also those that know how that. they are being initiated, that's mm -hmm. what I want to use now, to, should let them know so that when they're in that situation, they can easily say, no, I don't want to do this. Right. Okay, if I do want to add to that before we... Um, um, May so rest in peace, Jules mm -hmm. Ward. I think the only addition to the story is the drugs that cost us dead. We already knew it was drug mm -hmm. overdose. So um, I think everyone should learn from this. So basically, that's it. Okay, so according to legal documents obtained by TMZ, Wendy Williams and um, Kevin Hunter are officially divorced. The documents also include some interesting information on who gets what. The Livingston... NJ House, she and Kevin Hunter put up for sale. It's eventually going to be split 50-50 um, dollars after it is sold. Wendy gets to keep a crib they have in Florida where her mom lives, while Kevin gets to keep the proceeds from another house he owned and recently sold in NJ as well. The documents say they each owned equal shares of their production company, and Kevin is going to sell off his shares to Wendy. This will enable her to become the sole owner of the production, but she's paying him a lump sum which is confidential at the moment, plus a severance package. Wendy will also keep all of their fortune, save for, sorry, all of their furniture, save for one of the sculpture. Um, meanwhile, Kevin also gets to keep the Ferrari and his Rolls Royce. Good readers, I'm happy for her, but then I pay. I'm <laughs> I, angry. <laughs> I'm angry because I think he got a good deal for somebody that is a cheat. That's the major splitting. <laughs> but me, I'm telling you, <laughs> for me, I feel I'm happy that this is ending real quick. Mm. He wasn't dragged. She was and ready she to really leave. she really wanted yeah. her peace of mind. Mm. So yeah. even if she had to do it all 50-50, 50-50, but I'm happy that she gets to keep the, the company. The company. Yeah. Even it, of well, course, she's, she's buying it in, yeah, or but whatever. Mm. But it's actually important for her to be able to have a control of that part of her life because mm. that is where almost everything about Wendy happens. The part that gives her money and mm. all that. Mm -hmm. So I like that she can be in an environment where she's not having to deal with an ex while mm -hmm. working. It's, it, emotions can be really difficult to handle. And thank God Kevin regardless of how petty. strong, you know? Regardless petty, of how strong... Petty how? He, he could say he he's really not can't. because he, really he was can't. on the bad side. Yeah. He, he, he was, was the on the bad side. So at, it's, the point. it's basically against him. <laughs> so, you don't know men then. They I'm talking punish. of law right now. You are the cheat. You are the no, one who no, broke no. the No, no, no. He's the one selling part of his That's company. That's what I'm saying. No, he can decide not to sell. They own 50-50 of the company. He can decide that I'm not selling. I don't think he can decide yes, that. Yes, he can. Because yeah, yes, for me, he can. the I'm law happy, has I'm nothing about that because it's his property. That is his property. You know, the law Wendy, can decide You know if that Wendy is not was his. not Wendy, like if she's not this big, and then she finds out that her husband um, is cheating mm -hmm. and she files for it a divorce. Not get and hold on, even if she did not have a share in that company, yeah. you know she could actually get fifty percent yes. of it. That's where I'm looking at it from. So he so now actually had no That's a different case entirely. That's what now, now, That's now what the, it is. Now the law is telling you that they own fifty percent. They own the company equally because she but is she, not ready to drag it. You, you she do, just wants her piece. That? That's okay. that's why this. That's is what I'm explaining to you that if. Mm. If she was just a housewife, self that did not have any share in the company, Why do you she now had think almost fifty percent from the divorce. Kevin is at a very huge, ridiculous amount to her because he's been and you know, know we don't word. know the amount. Yeah, yeah. yeah so but they can't... said at a lump sum. Of course, it has to be 50 I'm just happy for the... Wendy. It's going I'm to happy be what, for her What is going, is going to be selling, the rate is in which is going to be selling will be higher than the what? We don't know. We but she can sure. afford it. So, okay, we'll spend it on the next Good one. Good Thank you. And that's how I wrap up to this episode. <laughs> Okay, wrap up on this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing and visiting our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, to go to my co anchors, Ewalu Oritu and Ifeolu Oshinokaye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay tuned.